uh, not open, not closed, and clopen sets. All right, all in. Uh, let's use these in just R again, just to keep a simple example in our heads. So an open set, an open set is identical to its interior. So the idea of an open set is that every element inside of an open set can have little open balls drawn around it. So the classic example is usually an open interval in R. So if we think of an open or a number line right there, and we draw an open interval, and if we take any element of that open interval, then we can create an open set that is completely contained inside of the green set and that open set is com uh, completely contained inside the green set, and that's it. So that we have this is an open set. We can do this about any point, right? No matter how close we get to the edge, we can always draw a littler orange interval around that point, right? Get really, really, really close to the edge. It doesn't matter to us. We can always draw a little open sets. So those are all interior points, and that's what an open set looks like. And that is different from a closed set. So a closed set, a closed set, uh, actually I think the strict definition of a closed set is usually its complement is open, right? But rather than using that topological type of view of it, a closed set contains all of its limit points is the way that I like to think of it. So a closed set contains all its limit points. All its limit points. So the green set wouldn't work there because those green boundaries are limit points, but they're not inside of the original set because open set means up to but not including those points. So what's a closed set look like? Closed set kind of usually, a good way of thinking about it, is like a closed interval. right? So if you had some kind of sequence of elements from this set, then if they ever settled down, if there was a subsequential limit, if it did have a limit, then that limit would be a point inside of that set. There's no way you could limit to something way out here because you just simply can't get outside of the set. The closest you could possibly think about maybe getting outside of the set would be if you had a sequence of points that got really close to the edge, but be, since, since it's a closed set, that means you actually don't escape though, right? You actually hit that closed dot at the edge. So that's what a closed set kind of looks like. That's how I think of it anyway, is it contains all its limit points as opposed to that a little bit more esoteric, the complement of an open set. Okay, so how about if we had a set like this? How about a set that looks like half open, half closed? So does it contain all of its limit points? Well, the answer to that would be no, because that point right here on the high right edge, that would be a limit point. Because there exists a sequence of points that go towards that right-hand side edge, but that right-hand side edge is not inside of the set because it's an open interval. So this set right here is not closed. But is it open? Well, consider the right end point or the left end point over here. If I take that point right there, can you create an open interval around that point that is completely contained within the set? And the answer is no. I mean, on the right hand side, you're okay. That's no big deal. But anytime you try to draw something, no matter how close you get over here on the left, it's going to extend outside of that set. So it doesn't contain all its interior points, so it's also not open. So a half open, half closed interval is neither open nor closed. And final example, how about if we just consider all of R? Imagine we were to take the entire real number line from negative infinity to infinity. Notice that every single point in that set is a limit point and it contains all of those points. So this is definitely going to be closed. And on the other hand, if you take any dot inside of here, any point in the real numbers, you can clearly make a little interval around it. So it's definitely also open. And so the whole of the real, ni real number line is actually both simultaneously closed and open. So that means it's actually a clopen set because it's closed and open simultaneously.